Well, shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And these 459 500 grain bullets are cast hard for maximum penetration. They are at BHN 18 base alloy and water quenched probably to 21. And what we're doing now is we're sizing those powder coated designs for the 459 500 grain bullets cast from the NOE mold. And here's what I found out that's really good for information purposes and that is for instance take this aqua blue powder coated bullet set it into the 458 resizing die in the RCBS Lubomatic 2 sizer lubricator and we've got the nose punch from NOE which fits perfectly and doesn't cause any damage to the bullet noses. That's very important. But notice how much force it takes to size that because of the big bearing surface. And then we have to eject it and there you go. Now notice that it actually rubs off a little bit of the powder coat on the bearing surface. Not much, but just a little bit. There's a hint of, of, of lead showing there. So the question, can you actually go through the powder coat when you're sizing your bullets? And the answer is yes in certain cases, and this is one of them. However, notice that when I take the periwinkle gray and put that through, so here's the same thing. And it actually feels easier to size with the periwinkle gray. And notice, there's a lot less, just a little hint of the exposure of the lead. So the periwinkle gray actually works better when you get to the sizing stage than the aqua blue. So we got a good powder here for this bullet. Now, the other thing that I'd like to share with you is that our fine RCBS Lubomatic 2 was not designed to be used with that much force. So if you're sizing a thousand of these bullets, you're liable to damage the linkage on this lubricizer. I know because there was a time that my Lyman 450 actually broke the linkage up here, having to size it that much. So I recommend if you're going to size these bullets, get the Lee push through sizing die, ream it out to 458 because they only make them in 457. And you might ream it out to 4585 or 459 or something like that. The little spinner of sandpaper inside the die to open that up to what you want. And that die because we're going to use it in our big presses, would be better to size these bullets. This won't take the wear and tear. I'm actually going to stop sizing because I've got enough to go ahead and load. RCBS Lubomatic 2 is a wonderful machine. It'll last a lifetime and, and size and lube hundreds of thousands of bullets for you, but not if you have to use two hands to pull this handle. So let me take a bunch of these periwinkle grays out and you'll see that they sized very well with minimum show through of any lead whereas the aqua blue showed a little bit more. That one didn't. But there you see. A little bit of lead showing there. So I'm going to shoot the aqua blue at lower velocity but these can go higher. To show you that more close up, notice right there, that's a little bit of a sizing mark that actually almost went through the powder coat but did not. The periwinkle gray is pretty tough powder. So shooters and reloaders, these are all good, ready to load. But I got these rejects.
And the reason, of course, I think was it's probably my fault when I was doing the casting. I may have had the mold blocks just a little bit open and that caused bigger bullets to be cast. So the lesson there is always make sure our mold blocks are closed all the way before we do a pour. However, another thing we learned was that the periwinkle gray, in cases where you need the maximum toughness, the periwinkle gray will give us a little bit more maximum toughness than the aqua blue, although the aqua blue is a good powder for most uses. If you gotta push the toughness, periwinkle gray. You see how much tougher it is? Bye for now.